I suppose my favourite pasta dish of all would be ali olio, which is the, the one with chilli and garlic in it. Because I like pasta with a bit of oomph to it. Well, I'm not doing that, kids. <laughs> ah, after talking about it, what I'm actually doing, it's not far off, it's just got a few more ingredients. In fact, it's got about 300 more ingredients, is puttanesca. Now, puttanesca means tart in Italian, or sort of. And it's supposedly this pasta was developed in the Spanish brothels of Rome, I think they are. Anyway, the, the point about it is, I think it's called puttanesca because it's got a, a bit of kick to it. Would that be right? I'm sure you will tell me. Anyway, first of all, what we need to do is just throw a few of these things in here. I've got some red onion, clove of garlic there, there's some capers, anchovies, a couple of chilies. I've got some stuffed green olives, which I've cut in half. So we're gonna have some nice flavors there. Now, just while that's happening, so I've got some lovely cherry tomatoes here, which I'm gonna cut, and not too many, because it's not, a, not supposed to be a tomato sauce as such. To that, I'm then going to add a little bit of smoked paprika. It's already got some chili in, so it's got a bit of a kick to it. And I'm also going to add my darling's veggie stock, which I'm rather keen on. And we're just going to cook that down. No salt, but a bit more pepper. No salt, because you've got anchovies, you've got olives, you've got all those things. Now, I'm also going to add some artichoke. Now, there's not a lot of things that I like out of a jar, but artichokes work quite well. So it's just some of these jarred artichoke hearts. Not too many, because they take over. Now, I've got some pasta, which I have cooked, and I've just used some shell pasta. I think traditionally for this dish, You'd use penne or something like that. But I just had some shell pasta in there. So just toss that around. Make sure you get a mix of all the good stuff. And then I'm going to do some grated cheese. Just some tasty for a start. Now I, I always do two, two cheeses with this because I always do some parmesan as well. So I do a tasty cheese which spreads and the parmesan which adds some flavour. Just straight into an oven. Reasonably hot. 200 degrees. Fairly high up. About... 10 or 15 minutes. So until it's bubbling and golden brown. Let's have a look at our pasta. I actually had a taste of this while you were away. It's got a nice kick to it. Now to go with that, because it's got all this oomph, you need something without too much tannin. And what I've got here, and I'm having a red wine with it, which is a bit surprising. What I've got here is a straight Merlot, four jacks. A really nice dish. As I said, interesting origins. It's got a nice kick to it, but very tasty. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do. And don't forget, it's free. Okay, okay. Cheers.